Hey everybody, welcome to In Bed with a Millennial. I'm the Millennial, Javeda Bay, and this is my bed. So Saturday was World Contraception Day, so I want to take today and talk about contraceptions because we should, duh, or contraceptives, what's the plural? I should know that, but I don't. Anyways, first things first, I want to explain that a contraceptive is more commonly referred to as birth control. Yeah, that beautiful thing. It's got a big old scientific name. No one uses it. <laughs> But a lot of people do use birth control. And I also want to hit on the fact that birth control is not just for women. Birth control is also for transgender individuals, gender nonconforming individuals, gender fluid people. And guess what? Men. Preventing pregnancy is everybody's duty in a relationship and a sexual activity. It is not just on one sole person. Everyone has to pull their weight. So let's get into it. First thing to know is that there are a lot of different options of birth control and a lot of different varieties and brands of birth control. So you can choose from about 14 different types of birth control, contraception, and then you got multiple brands of that to choose from. So your options can be a little overwhelming, but I'm here to calm that. First things first, we're gonna talk about the most popular ones. So you've got your pill, which is literally the most popular form of contraception out there. You have got your long, long acting reversible contraception which are called larks and that's the iud and the implant also very popular the iud is extremely popular with me my favorite form of birth control <laughs> um you have also got condoms internal and external you've got the shot you've got the patch you've got caps and diaphragms and then you also have vasectomies and sterilization as forms of birth control as well so there's a whole slew of options available to you and you should definitely do your research if you're looking to get onto contraception or switch contraception definitely do your research you shouldn't just be like you know what yeah this is great i'm gonna do this one without knowing anything else about it because my best friend said it's great it might be great for them that does not necessarily mean it's great for you contraception is not a one-size-fits-all situation so definitely do your research and give it some thought because it's necessary it's good we all have growing pains with birth control i definitely have my growing pains so it's completely understandable um another great important thing to talk about when we're talking about contraception is the access of it it is not as widely available to try all the different varieties of birth control for some people as it is others so being mindful about that whether you are actually seeking to get birth control for yourself if you're trying to re make a recommendation for someone else there are a lot of pieces that go into play so just be mindful of that accessibility piece when you are talking about it with your friends or when you go to your doctor because also they might not present all the options to you because they think that access they're taking that access into account so just be mindful do your research because if you're like no this is the one i want tell them that because they might not present it to you because they may think that it is a little too out of reach for you so just express what you want um but definitely do your research check out more contraception options when you're looking for them check out my website javetabay.com because i uploaded a really great blog talking about contraception the options available available to you as well as the history because it's important and also remember not everyone on contraception is doing it because they're trying to prevent pregnancy birth control has a lot of great benefits for a lot of wide variety of other things than just stopping you from making babies so don't jump to occlusion don't jump to conclusions about people if they're on birth control they could be on it because they have terrible acne or horrible cramps or terrible mood swings or they just need the hormonal balance there are a lot of reasons and you don't know so don't jump to conclusions but do Come back next week for an all new episode. Check out my website. Be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'm going to see y'all next week. Deuces.